This is a continuation of solutions to the Trig Test 2 review. Okay, we're on to 6e. Graph y equals the tangent of x over 3. So before doing this, let's just recall how to do the tangent function. So I use the, the unit circle to help me do these critical points here. And remember that the tangent is y over x. So at 0, right, it's 0 over 1, so the tangent is 0. But at pi over 2 here, it's 1 over 0, so it's undefined, and we're going to have an asymptote at pi over 2. If we go over to pi, we've got 0 over negative 1, so the tangent is 0. And if we go down to 3 pi over 2, negative 1 over 0, also undefined, we're going to have an asymptote. And back to 2 pi, that's the same as tangent is 0. So we've got 0. Now the other thing to pay attention to is what happens in the different quadrants. So as you're going on the unit circle, what's going on here? The tangent is y over x. Since x and y are both positive, in this quadrant the tangent is positive. So numbers between 0 and pi over 2 are going to be positive. And then over here in quadrant 2, x is negative and y is positive. So the tangent is going to be negative in that quadrant. So in between pi over 2 and pi, it's going to be some negative numbers. And then when I go back to quadrant 3, it's going to be positive again between here and negative. That'll be, that'll be helpful when we graph the tangent function. So if you want to graph it, so we've got the x and the y, and we want to put our values here. So we've got the pi over 2 and the pi, and we can do 3 pi over 2, etc. But I also like to do some over here, the negative pi over 2 and the negative pi. A little bit easier to see. So my asymptotes, notice, are at pi over 2, 3 pi over 2, it's going to be 5 pi, or 5 pi over 2, etc. So my asymptotes are going to be here. And as well, they're going to be over here. All right. Now let's see where it's where where is the function zero. In other words, where's the y value zero? Well, it's here at zero zero, pi zero, etc. Right? All these places where it's zero. We already know where it's undefined, but that's not very much information. So that's why I put these little plus and minus signs. In between 0 and pi over 2, we know it's positive, so that's your key. This is, goes up at this place, and it goes down over here, because you would be down in this quadrant 4 if you went negative toward pi over 4. I mean, toward negative pi over 2. And in between pi over 2, and pi, right, pi over 2 and pi, it's negative, so that's why this is negative down here. And so what you notice that the, is that the period is only pi. The period of the tangent function and the cotangent is pi. It repeats very quickly. Just in between these two dotted lines is the period. But we have a different period. We're asked to graph tangent of x over 3, so the period well, the b value, remember you could think of that as one-third, so you take the period of the tangent function, just the plain old tangent function, which is pi, and you divide by one-third, which means multiply by the reciprocal. So the period is going to be pi times 3, or 3 pi. So instead of it being a period of pi, it's going to be 3 pi. So if you were going to graph this, Notice here it goes from 0 to pi. That's going to be one period. If you change this to 3 pi, you're going to have it. So that's all, that's all you really need to do. You could simply erase those and write down 3 pi, or you could just graph it again. So we've got Again, 0 here, and we're still going to have the asymptotes. But the thing is, what are you going to call 
these points on the x-axis. That's the only thing that's different. Instead of the period being pi, it's actually a period of 3 pi. So just call that 3 pi. Call that 6 pi. So the asymptote here is at 3 pi over 2, halfway, right? The asymptote is now at 3 pi over 2. So I'm going to graph this. And again, starts down and goes up. And there we go. Looks exactly the same, except that's why it's so important that you label your x and y axis. And so there we have it. A few periods. of our graph, y equals tangent of x over 3.